Hey guys, today we're going to make three arrangements in a large basket for fall. It's super easy and you can do this, so let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with this um, round basket. And I have a blanket. It's a big blanket and it's just rolled up. I'm going to push it down in the center. That's going to give us some foundation to work with. And then I have this blanket which has the pretty fringe on the end. And we're going to kind of, I want that fringe to show, not the tag, just kind of spilling over the edge. And then the rest we'll use as a base as well. We're gonna start with these stems and I will put in the description box below, the things that I used and links for them or where I got them, um, in case if you're interested in that. Now, normally I like to tear my stems all apart, and if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll see that I do that. But in this case, it is best if you kind of keep your stems together. So that's two stems right there in the back. Then we're gonna add these really fun pumpkin stems in. And the only thing that's really keeping these in place is I'm just putting them between the basket and my blankets. And that's doing a pretty good job of keeping them where I want them. And you know what, this is bothering me, that this one is taller than this one, so I'm going to trade it out. Okay. And then this last one, I think I'm going to put it kind of coming forward. Now we're gonna add in our ambiance lighting, these um, lighted branches. They are so pretty and they just add a lot to your fall decor, Christmas decor, everyday decor. So I'm gonna tuck that back there. And I'm just gonna set these in here. And of course you can always weave them you know, in with your, your branches if you'd like to. But they're staying pretty good. And the last thing that we're gonna add are two pumpkins. There we go. That's our first design. And as I'm here taking final shots of this particular design, Lexi's over here snoring. So just giving you a heads up. If you hear that, she's normally not far from me. So many of you loved the centerpieces that I did with this blue, this ocean blue color. So I thought it'd be fun to do a design with that in mind. So we're going to use two bushes of these kind of creamy white leaves and I've just um, you know spread them out and I'm going to crisscross them kind of like that we're going to add in our pre-lit branches Then we're going to add in a big pumpkin. The branches are kind of holding up my big pumpkin. 
Then we're going to add in our pretty ocean blue pumpkin and this pumpkin again. And then to finish it off, I have these leaves. These are the same leaves that I used in the centerpiece that I did with this, um, this pumpkin. And we're just going to add that pop of blue throughout. Now I already had these cut. Um, if I didn't have them cut, maybe I would go up, you know, something in the back. But I actually like kind of just having some pops of blue around the edge. Let's add in, I want to add in a little bit just back here, just so you kind of barely see a hint of it. And then we'll put one kind of in the center. And there you go. There is our blue and creamy white theme. Let's take a closer look at it. Okay, before we go on to our third design, I wanted to show you just a few really cute things that I have on my website right now. This adorable jack-o'-lantern, it's made from reclaimed wood and metal. So it's super cute, would be great on a porch or inside, and look at those fun teeth. And then I have this fun, uh, fun jack-o'-lantern with the kind of rusty metal hair, again, made from reclaimed wood. These are nice, strong pieces. So again, would be really pretty on your porch or fun, I should say. These are really pretty, they're more fun. Um, and I will link that below. And then this one is also reclaimed wood and metal. Um, it's, this one really is fun and pretty. For fall, you can set this on your inside decor, on your porch, wherever. And then last but not least, I wanted to show you these, these candles smell so good. I have them in lots of different scents. They're made in a really cute ribbed galvanized container and I will list those below. So let's get back to our third design. Okay, for our last design, we're gonna go back to these leaves, these stems. Oops. And I'm going to add in these kind of corn husk looking bushes. So let's add one right in the center and one on each side. And before I forget, if you would please put down in the comments which design that you liked best or maybe how you might create one in your home. I love to hear that. And then we're going to put in our pre-lit branches. There we go. And then we're going to add in our pumpkins. I'm going to put one kind of to the back, one to the side, one right here. And then I have kind of this fun three pumpkin stem. I'm going to see if I can just slip it underneath there. And there you go. There is our third, third design. I hope you've been inspired. Um, if you would like, comment, and subscribe. It just helps my little channel grow. So let's take a look at this last design. <laughs> 